Our World Cup coverage is brought to you by Pinnacle Sports. Hi, I'm Nahi Rydstrom and you're watching Sportsbook Review's 2014 World Cup coverage. Now, favourites from Group G and favourites to win the World Cup will take on Group H, second place Algeria. Algeria were a bit of a surprise to make it out of the group, but now they are up against a strong team. How will they fare? Well, joining us now to run through the match from a betting perspective is Stuart from BetAdvisor.com. Stuart, thanks for being here. No problem, Natalie. Now, there's no surprise Germany are strong favourites here in this match, priced at 1.3 compared to Algeria's odds to win, priced at 11. Now, for better value, would you bet the half-time, full-time market for Germany to win both halves? And that's priced at 1.83 with Skybet. I think this one's going to be a bit of a battle. I mean, the, the, you're looking at a 1982 revenge match here. Um, Algeria is certainly still remembering what happened then, and I think they're going to be putting in a lot of a fight. So I think the half-time, full-time market's something to be avoided. OK. Well, Algeria isn't a team to be underestimated by any means. Uh, they managed to pick up a total of six goals. Can you see them scoring against Germany? However, bearing in mind, Germany did keep a clean sheet twice in the group stages. I really like this Germany defence. I think they're very mean. And that's, I think it's one of the things you need to win a World Cup. Uh, I personally don't see Algeria scoring in this one. Mm -hmm. Well, Germany winning to nil is 2.2 is sky bet. At those odds, is it worth the risk? Yeah, it's it's reasonable. I'd, I'd want a little bit more, maybe 2.3 if you mm -hmm. could push it a little bit higher. It's worth watching the markets because we've seen some really big odd shifts in this World Cup so far and the odds might move out to everyone's liking. All right then, so let's uh, wait on that one, see if the odds move up. Now, looking at the goals market, there is little value betting the over two and a half goals at 1.65. But Germany to score over two and a half goals is priced at 2.25 with William Hill. Um, they can be heavy hitters. Can they reach this amount? I think a lot of people are looking at a Germany 3-0 win, so they can reach that amount. They've certainly got the players, but the thing for me is they don't really have an out-and-out -out centre forward. And they've got Miroslav Klose, who's a very, very good player, but he is getting on a bin of years, and you know the temperature and the climate isn't really working in his favour. Uh, they've got goals from midfield, though. I mean, as we've seen, Thomas Muller's doing very, very well, and they've got some other good players in that area. So we may see them getting up to those kind of levels. OK. Would you then more be favouring to take like a bit of a gamble and go for the under two and a half goals, um, which is sort of like the underdog bet here? What do you think? I personally wouldn't be going for that gamble, no. OK. All right, then. What are your predictions for this match? Uh, well, personally, I'm looking at both teams to score no. That's mm -hmm. around 1.84 with Pinnacle. And uh, Jason Mill says he's looking at a German clean sheet. That's around 1.91 with uh, Bet Fred. So it's even better odds than I'm offering. All right, then. So Germany keeping a clean sheet here. Stuart's from betadvisor.com, a multi-sport, multi-tipster platform. Go check out that website. The link is in the description below. Sign up to the BetAdvisor newsletter for tips as profiles and free bets from the BetAdvisor team. Stuart, thanks for joining us. Anytime.